orbs i think are more spiritual i think that's like what chris is talking about here these beings that are in a higher frequency they're light beings doesn't mean they're all good either depending on the color of the orb some people have really negative experiences with them like what we're talking about and a lot of times there can be disc craft alongside orbs alongside bigfoots and other types of cryptids because it's like you have all of this stuff going on at once and again i don't have it figured out guys i'm not here to tell you thus says cub this is the truth i'm saying we need to keep talking about this we need to keep theorizing we need to keep looking for data we need to listen to me we need to listen to uh, our friends in the comments we need to look at the data that's being presented and if anybody has an idea or an opinion bring the receipts on it like let's look at it where's the document we can look at where's the eyewitness testimonies like um that's why I said today, this is all my opinion. You know, go look up MK Ultra on Wikipedia. Go look into some of the actual data around that. Go look into the gray alien uh, disclosure and the things that have been going on with like the discs and the UAPs. Um, that really happened recently. Uh, they're talking about that. Even one of the things said was, the truth about alien intelligence is stranger than fiction. And, you know, it, it's it, the guy that kind of mentioned that. I can't remember his name, but he was basically like, I can't even say because of the ramifications and how much it terrified me. Like he, and I think what he discovered in that briefing that has not been disclosed to the public, I think what he discovered is that they're, they're here. They're, all around us um and when we see their crafts is only when they're coming and going like they're in my house right now they're in your house right now and i think that's the one of the most terrifying things is like we live in a multi-dimensional plane and these things i think can be in different especially certain types of them can be in different planes of existence or cloak themselves completely and that's that's kind of scary if you think about it but it's fascinating and it means that the world that we live in is much bigger than your job. It's much bigger than uh, what these, you know, world powers want you to think, right? Um, we live in a multiverse. We live in a huge multidimensional multiverse where you get your own version of the simulation and what you believe is true becomes true for you. And what you want to create is created for you. And that's why I choose to create abundance, disclosure, uh, truth, authenticity unity uh community that's what i agree to create that's why i'm here that's why i showed up today that's why i was live at noon today talking about this stuff on a random tuesday june 18th and i'm i'm not gonna stop guys i'm here to keep doing it and that's why i ask for your support that's why i ask for your help go join the mythos membership get to know me a lot better get to know people in the community uh that middle tier is is the most popular uh with access to like i said the uh community hub the live calls on every saturday the call archive um you also get the vault as i just added now so this episode you'll get it over in the vault uh yesterday's episode you'll get it over in the vault and then i'm going to work on retro uh uploading every single episode that i've done on the podcast so you guys have a hub to go to you don't have to dig through all the junk on social media you can go watch my content if you're like want to watch one on mary magdalene go back you can watch all my research on mary magdalene tom says good work man thank you my friend so when i say i need your support i mean it if you appreciate the content and you're like dude this guy's awesome i'm glad i found him like seriously for a stupid affordable price you can support what i'm doing and make sure i keep showing up um if i don't promote i can't keep doing this this is my full time mission in life i've given up everything for this i don't have a regular job i don't have a business this is my business this is my the way that i continue a, to live, and B, to continue to explore, learn, grow, and share my authentic truth with the world. So if you value that, go be a supporter. Thank you. Thank you. Tom says, I'll be back with money. Thank you, my brother. Uh, you can click the link in my bio or in my profile or scan that QR code. The URL is right there too. Cub, C-U-B-K-U-K-E-R.com. 
uh, that is, that's where you need to end up to go join. So, uh, there's nothing to fear in my opinion, just angels here to help. Honeybee says, absolutely. My friend, absolutely. And that's why even the Bible talks about the war is already won, right? Like the battle's already done in the book of revelation. You know, your ascension journey culminates in glory. Like it's going to quit worrying about it. And I think that it's a beautiful thing. And so the best thing we can do is seek truth and authenticity and love and be in that frequency and that vibration. I think that is absolutely the number one thing we can do. Tom, you bet, brother. Absolutely. Um, so what about today's episode, right? Like, why am I talking about this today? Why did I go down this rabbit hole? Because I think it changes everything, guys. Go look at your dollar bill. Go look at all of the esoteric symbolism on that. I'm not here to tell you to be afraid. I'm not here to tell you to don't trust anyone or hate anyone. I'm not here to tell you any of that, guys. I'm here to tell you, open your eyes, okay? In love and peace and authenticity, ask yourself, why is my dollar bill green? Especially if you live here in the West, why does it have a pyramid on it? Why is there all of this symbolism around it? Why are there words that we don't understand that are not English? I mean, like what? Go ask yourself these things and then ask yourself, what is this? You know, what construct is this? Someone created this. Why? Go look into things like MK Ultra. Go look at the gray alien hybridization programs. Go look at the idea that humanity is essentially an animal. You know, why do you think that you have like love in your heart and you want to help people and you want to do right? But then you have like what Paul referred to as like the sinful nature and all these urges and this stuff. It's because you are literally a hybrid. You're what is considered a chimera. If any of these myths are true, including the Old Testament, you're a chimeric being. You're part animal. You're part God. And that means that you're going to have an identity crisis in some ways. And you've got to decide which side to feed and which side to get to be submissive. So a lot of people live and they go, oh, I'm going to go to church and I'm going to you know, follow Jesus and I'm going to whatever. And, and they do that, but they still live out of that primal. They still live out of the animal nature and they still operate out of that. They go, well, I'm just sinful. That's fine. And then you got people that are spiritual, uh, and they, they go, well, I got to kill my ego. And that's, that's not the point either. It's submission. You got to get it to submit to the higher authority, to the God within you and understand that the God within you is a part of the Supreme being is a part of I just lost connection, guys. Lost connection. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm trying to finish it here, wrap it up, tell some truth. Talked about the dollar bill, and now I magically lose connection. Um, have I explored subconscious? Oh my gosh, absolutely. I explore subconscious in my courses. We talk about that. Uh, we just did an entire frequency subconscious programming on Saturday. You can go back and watch that. It's got a ton of our members sharing their ideas as well as me. Uh, they're like fireside chats on Saturdays. We do record them for sharing later within the community. So I did. I got talk blocked over here, Dr. Nick. What's up, brother? Um, I'm telling you, you talk just about the dollar bill. And all of a sudden, my connection's out. And it was fine. It was fine. Um, that's how you know, guys. I mean, it's not to be paranoid at all. It's just this is why... I have a private platform.